Hello, it's Sam here again. Uh, today we're getting right into it, straight into it in fact. In fact, we're gonna use make.com to post multiple social channels, sorry, post to multiple social channels automatically from a WordPress blog post. So if you think about it, if you have an existing WordPress uh, blog, you you can increase your SEO and increase your readership and increase your traffic through, through social media. Uh, and that's by posting a link to the your new, your new blog post through uh, through social media. So it's a bit of a timely process. Basically, you have to go through and cut and paste a, a link, a description, some images into uh, a social post. And of course, no one does that anymore. Um, there is a number of paid tools that do similar kind of kind of actions, but I wanted to show you one where you actually make it yourself, make a full automation through make.com. Um, so what you'll need firstly is a make.com subscription. Uh, if you found this video, I'm guessing you may already have one of these. Uh, you do need a, a new or an existing WordPress blog with admin access. Uh, to, you, you'll need to install the make.com plugin in order to connect to your existing WordPress blog. Uh, I won't show you that part of the process, but it's pretty simple. If, you, if you've used WordPress before, you basically you just get a plugin and you get an API key for that plugin and then make.com is able to read your WordPress blog without any problems. Uh, you also need a ChatGPT API key and also a social channel page to post to. In this example, I'm just gonna to post to Facebook. Uh, you can pretty much post to any, any kind of social platform out there, basically click with a series of clicks and configuration in make.com. Uh, in this example, I'm just going to use Facebook simply because I've got, a, I've got a Facebook page that will be suitable for our purposes. So we get into make.com. This is what it looks like. Uh, basically, got a series of these, uh, these little apps or nodes or whatever you might call them. They all form different functions. Uh, the first one we have is WordPress. Um, I, 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 this is actually a template I've got at make.com. Uh, I have adjusted it to suit my purposes and I'll show you, show you exactly what I've done. So if you go to WordPress, have a look at the configuration within here. Uh, this is the connector. Basically to get this, you just need to have the plugin, get the API key from the plugin and uh, you go add and you just put the details into, into the form. I won't show you, obviously I don't want to show you my API key, uh, but it's very, very simple. Okay, here we choose the type. Uh, I'm looking for posts. Uh, I just wait for it to refresh. Gives you pretty much any option you want uh, that you can kind of download from from WordPress into Make. Uh, here, which this is basically the status of where the post is at. Just got publish, and I've limited it to one post per per action. That's all pretty simple. You can go as high as you want, basically, um, depending on how many how many Make Make tokens you're actually going to use. Okay, next we've got the the magic, which is AI. Uh, I'll show you the instructions I'm giving to AI here. Uh, again, this is this this stuff written in here was part of the template, but I have adjusted it to my purposes. Okay, again, you've got a connection. This is where you'll need to put in your API key. I won't show that. Obviously, don't want to show you my API key. Uh, create a chat completion. I mean, that's pretty. You could create a prompt prompt completion. I'm I'm sticking to chat just for this particular example. Uh, I've chosen GPT 3.5. You can choose whichever model you want. Uh, there, there's, there's no shortage of them as you can see. Uh, I'll just stick for GP to 3.5 turbo. It'll do for what we want. Uh, basically here, we, here, this is, this is kind of where you would type into the prompt normally, but of course we're sending it as an API call. Um, so basically, yeah, we're giving it, giving it a role, giving it a task, uh, linking these are variables. These are things that are pulled from the WordPress call that we did earlier. So uh, there's the link to the WordPress where we've called it previously. Uh, and that gives our ChatGPT information on what it needs to do. Uh, the posts, obviously this is a bit context for the post. Um, and some notes, I had to add this down the bottom, which was for all posts use the given URL without square brackets. For some reason, ChatGPT was adding in an extra like just is literally typing URL instead of writing the proper link, which is this one, HTTPS, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, so that's all cool. Um, the text pass is very important in this case. Basically, 
this this is what it's called a regular expression. Um, I didn't write this one myself. It's actually within the template itself. I had to adjust it a little bit to get it to work with ChatGPT, but it was just a simple matter of re removing uh, the word post out of this for Facebook. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm not posting to, to Twitter in this, not posting through to LinkedIn. I'm only posting to Facebook for the purposes of the demonstration. Uh, here we have a router. Basically, this what this does is, okay, so basically, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse or not, but basically the, the requests come along like this. Gets the router, it'll router or feed it off to, to X or Twitter. It'll feed it off to ChatGPT again, so I can go through to LinkedIn, and it'll feed it off to Facebook in every kind of cycle of the of the of the system. Um, I've closed off these two simply because I don't have a suitable account to post to. Uh, importantly, we'll look at face. Firstly, we'll just look at Facebook. Uh, this is my page. It's an old blog post. Don't worry about it. it the content's sort of kind of not the point here. Uh, this is me, this is my Facebook. Uh, this is the message, which comes from the text parser. You see here 13 and then the orange refers to number 13 here and the orange text parser. The link, obviously 10 link refers to the link it pulls it out of the WordPress information. Okay, so maybe I'll show you a bit of the data that as it comes through. Uh, why don't we have a quick look? Uh, in fact, we'll run up, I'll move my, my head out of the way. Uh, we'll go run once just to just to demonstrate it. Uh, you see here it's thinking, uh, gets the information from WordPress, just takes a little while to get it. You sing a little song while it does that. ChatGPT is very quick, text pass quick, and now it's posting onto Facebook as you can see here. Okay, so we'll have a look at the data to start with that actually pumped out. Here there's a bunch of information from my blog. I hope that's big enough for everyone to see. May not be with obviously with uh, YouTube, but basically there's a ton of information. Uh, you'll see here. This is the main bit, which is the long string. Uh, this is kind of the text content of what's actually in. Uh, this is this is an old post about Facebook pixels. Uh, there's a bunch of text there that it's pulled out of my WordPress post. Uh, we'll see what OpenAI has, or ChatGPT, I should say, has uh, summarized it into a tweet, a LinkedIn post and a Facebook post. Uh, the Facebook post will get passed here by the text parser. We'll see, actually, we'll see the data. Uh, basically, brings in that information it's got out of ChatGPT and port, I've, I've adjusted it so it only pumps out the Facebook one uh, because obviously we're only pasted to Facebook. The router routes it firstly to LinkedIn. You'll see here this, this little uh, filter. In fact, we'll cancel that. Well, I had disabled that step. I'll try and do it again. Unlink is what I want to do. In fact, that's really completely made it quite obvious. I don't know if you can see that, but basically there's a little warning sign saying that you can't get through that particular path. And that was previously there as well. Uh, you see here, there's a little filter, um, just checks that basically only one item is coming out of the text parser. Uh, if it equals one, it's, it's sick, and it, you can see that that means it's gone through. And here's the data that's gone through to Facebook. I'm not hopefully you can see that, but basically it's just, it's a message with a URL and some relevant uh, tags that that uh, the ChatGPT has come up with. Now let's see the actual result on Facebook. If we go here, uh, that's a previous one I've run. Uh, I'll refresh, and we'll see one about Facebook pixels in just a moment. Close that. It's a silly window. Okay, so here's the here's the new post that came automated from uh, Make.com. Basically, so there we go. That's a. I mean, please excuse the content. It's not particularly exciting, but uh, if we go back here, oh, seems to have lost. Oh. You've, you've lost the picture, maybe oh, that's not a big deal. Basically, look here. Okay, so just a summary. Okay, we pulled something from the WordPress blog. Uh, ChatGPT has made a really simple summary of it. Uh, well, actually, not a really simple summary, but a useful summary for Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter or X. Uh, it's been passed into the separate three items. The router has routed it. Well, previously it was routed there, but I've removed the path. Routes it off to LinkedIn and routes it to Facebook, and you saw before the Facebook post, which was this one here. Okay.
So that is pretty much it. Just wanted to talk through that one. Again, this, this whole, this whole, uh, template is available at make.com. They have a ton of really simple, I mean, this one here is called automate posting from blog to social media with ChatGPT. There's hundreds and hundreds of them. They're all very, very useful. I recommend you get into it. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Thanks guys.